So before we get started with this episode, I do have to give a trigger warning right here. This episode will contain discussions about mental health issues such as psychosis, depression, anxiety, you name it. And of course, suicide or self-slaughter. So if you do not feel comfortable with those topics being discussed, bestie, I highly suggest you skip this episode because this episode will be deep, it will be dark, and I care about your mental health. And of course, just no hard feelings. We have uh, breaking news uh, at this hour, and uh, a plane is reported to have gone down over the southern French Alps. It's uh, operated by German Wings, an A320 Airbus. Uh, 148 people are believed to have been on board. 142 passengers and six crew. 34-year-old Maria was born there and on the plane with her husband and 18-month-old baby. Oleg, 54 years old, was part of a German opera company based in the city. Oleg and Maria, both internationally known singers, the opera world of mourning the loss of the performers both professionally and personally. Welcome to A Crash Investigation, the podcast, the show we dissect and discuss prominent air crashes in aviation history. Of course, I am your host, Jonaka Kai, as always. And today we will be talking about the infamous flight. We will be talking about German Wings Flight 9525. What happened? Why did it happen? How did it happen? And how did the investigators solve this case? Honestly, if you were not listening to the trigger warning that I had mentioned earlier, please like if you don't feel like it's going to be comfortable for you to like listen to a podcast that is talking about suicide and self-slaughter. Firstly, skip this episode. We're going to be deep. We are going to be dark and you might cry. I low-key did a little bit. But yeah, you know, we have a long one ahead of us. Um, Do not forget to like and subscribe if you're listening to us on youtube and if you're listening to us on like a podcast listening platform like spotify apple podcast the rest google Podcasts, etc do not forget to of course follow us on your platform of choice and rate us five stars because we are the best podcast on this platform no we're not without wasting any more of your time let us just get started it is the greatest aviation mystery of all time. Lies a massive passenger jet and the remains of its 239 passengers and crew. Uh, good morning, we have uh, a smoke uh, uh, problem and we're doing emergency descent to level 15140. In December 1988, a passenger airliner was bombed over Scotland in what was one of the largest pre-9-11 terrorist attacks. Okay, so as per usual, we go through the background of this flight. German Wings Flight 9525 was a scheduled flight for the 24th of March 2015. 2015 wasn't a long time ago, and that is what makes this case even more sad. This flight was from Barcelona, El Prat Airport. Sorry if I butchered that. Barcelona, Spain, and its destination was Düsseldorf Airport, Düsseldorf, Germany. The call sign for German Wings Flight 9525 was German Wings 18 Golf. So do not be surprised when I refer to German Wings Flight 9525 as German Wings 18 Golf. I don't want you to get confused. The aircraft used was the famous Airbus A320-211. The pilots. The captain of this flight was Patrick Sondenheimer from Germany. And now a little bit of history on Sondenheimer. From June of 2005 to January of 2010, Sondenheimer was a first officer for the airline Condor Berlin. 
When he was first officer for Condor, he flew the Airbus A320. Then he left the airline and he joined the famous Lufthansa as first officer. I'm sorry if I said that airline's name wrong. You might hear a lot of mispronunciations, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Let's move on. He was first officer from April of 2010 to May of 2014, specifically early, early, early May. Whilst he was with Lufthansa, he flew both the Airbus A330 and the Airbus A340. Then on the 6th of May 2014, he caught his big break and he finally became Captain Sandenheimer whilst flying under German wings. As you can tell, he flew a lot of Airbuses, so it wasn't like as though he wasn't prepared or he didn't know how to fly an Airbus. But in total, he obtained 6,763 flight hours with 3,811 flight hours on the accident aircraft, aka the Airbus A320. And within the 6,763 flight hours, he served 259 hours as a captain. With all of this information, we can proudly say that he was incredibly qualified to fly this aircraft. Now, you know, uh, the first officer, hey, yeah. The first officer of this flight was Andreas Gunther Lubitz from Germany. His training was incredibly messy, and you know what, we'll discuss that later, but he started off as a flight attendant for Lufthansa from the 15th of June 2011 to the 31st of December 2013, aka New Year's Eve. After finishing his training, he joined German Wings on the 4th of December 2013. And finally, on the 26th of June 2014, he passes his proficiency test and he officially becomes a first officer. In total, Lubitz obtains 919 flight hours with 540 flight hours on the accident aircraft, aka the Airbus A320. He was a fairly new pilot, so that is why his flight hours were so low. But like, his training? You need to stay tuned for his training, because his training was messy. And you will also hear, like, I am not even exaggerating. I know I'm taking a lot of time, but I'm not exaggerating when I say that he should not have become a pilot. It's just disappointing. Oh my gosh, it's frustrating. Now, the passengers of German Wings Flight 9525. In total, there were 144 passengers on board, with majority of them being German. You know, because German wings. Yeah, I'll stop. Sorry. The flight. Unfortunately, we're going to have to end it right there because the rest of this episode will be very, very deep. And I just really do want to give you a breather. And by a breather, I want to give you a week to try and, you know, come up with your own theories, etc. Before we do what you came here to listen to. But either way, I'm just trying something new, to be honest. But thank you so much for listening. I hope you are invested. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to follow. And yes, I will catch you next week with the rest of this episode. Cheers!